in the salt marshes. So for the last three days, we've been on a water snake bio blitz looking for the threatened uh, Atlantic salt marsh snake. And so in Tomoka Snake Park, it's thought to be one of the last strongholds of this endangered snake. And it's very rare and very difficult to find. The habitat we work in is a salt marsh, and it's very, very treacherous and difficult to traverse. So it's hard to find these things. So we've only collected four of them in the last four years. You're in mud up to your waist sometimes. Sometimes you'll get stuck and you'll have to yell so another student will come over and grab you to pull you out of the muck. And so we spend hours at a time looking for these. Well, one of the big questions in regards to the Atlantic salt marsh snake is the genetics of the salt marsh snakes. Uh, Dr. Parkinson and his genetics lab is helping us uh, in regards to studying and determining the, the genetics of this suite of species. The listed species is a, a subspecies, the Atlantic salt marsh snake. We're finding freshwater snakes in the saltwater environment. And one of the conservation concerns for the Atlantic salt marsh snake is that these freshwater snakes are more able to get into these salt marsh environments because of human interactions and therefore are able to breed with the salt marsh snakes and then disrupt the gene pool. Snake, snake, snake! What kind? Nerdy. Good job. It's banded or salt marsh? It's banded. Oh, awesome. So we're not sure how it's wow. going to affect salt the marsh ecosystem. Influence? We actually don't have a real solid mm -hmm. grasp on what this no. could potentially be doing to the ecosystem. What it does give us, though, is an indication that we may have altered the ecosystem significantly. We have found they're pretty much uh, limited to Volusia County. The, the range of the species has been decreasing. We're now finding freshwater species in what should be a saltwater environment. So what it looks like is humans may have altered it enough to where other species may also be very different. So it gives us a guide to then look for other trends in other organisms. If humans have caused the anthropomorphic change, i.e. they've wrecked the habitat, and we are the ones causing the species to go extinct. I think we, we need to work to solve that issue and try to do recovery. 